Hello, I'm James Preston and welcome to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks exclusive to Calkine TV. For those lucky enough to own a property, there's a never-ending desire to improve your dwelling and truly make your house into a home. One of the best ways to do that is with smart and tasteful renovations, but it can be a very costly exercise if you don't do your research. Fortunately, new cost-effective marketplaces are emerging, and one of those is the Renovator Store, a 100% True Blue Australian-owned company serving the Smart Renovator and their trade support. It's the fastest-growing source in Australia for building and plumbing supplies. Scott Pendlebury is the founder and managing director, and he joins me live now from what looks like to be the factory floor. Scott, very welcome to you to Calkine. Good morning, James. Thank you very much. Great to have you here, Scott. Now, I've given a little bit of an insight into what it is that Renovator Store offers, but can you give us a little bit more of an insight into exactly who your service caters for? Yeah, Renovator Store does focus on the smart renovator, the homeowner that's looking for better prices, a way to stretch their budget a bit further, and, and a homeowner that likes to, to pick their own products that are going to define their home. So, I think gone are the days where uh, you leave it up to your builder to source all your products. Uh, homeowners now have got everything at their fingertips online and they can, um, they can source these products quite easily with the click of a button. Absolutely. Now, a big trend that we've seen, Scott, in the past two years is a major increase in the amount of money being put back into the home. And I think that's largely due to the lack of travel with COVID and there's a bit of extra money hanging around. Based on the interaction that you've had with customers, what would you say has been the major focus of a lot of those renovations? Well, I think, you know, if you look at some of the renovation trends lately, it, there's a lot of new ideas in design and in functionality. Um, you know, in design, the homeowner's exploring new finishes. Uh, there's, there's alternatives to plasterboarding, plasterboarding your, your walls, people even putting floorboards on their walls. Um, new finishes and things like sinks and taps, you can go for copper, brushed brass, you know, gone are the days of, of just choosing between chrome and black. So. You know, design's a big, a big trend at the moment, and and functionality. You know, spaces are smaller now because homes cost more, and and I think you know people are looking for ways to get access to all the space that's available in the house. So innovative storage hardware is is a big trend at the moment too. Have you seen, for example, a big uptake in things like granny flats and sheds? Given that there is a, a bit of a smaller space, people are looking to try and cram in as much as they can into their own property. Definitely. Uh, personally, I've seen some great ideas converting, you know, the, the garage or, or the granny flat in the back of the house to a very livable space, whether it's, you know, an alternative uh, workspace or or another play area for, for the children. Um, some of the innovative designs that we've seen um, make the best use of space, you know, in, in an increasingly expensive property market. Mm, yeah, it's getting quite crazy at the moment, that's for sure. And, and look, another trend that has emerged is I think even well before the pandemic began, we saw quite a huge shift towards online marketplaces across a range of industries. Uh, what do you believe is the major benefit of operating the online space compared to, say, having a, a brick and mortar store? I know you've got the workhouse uh, there, obviously, the factory, but um, you know, most of your, your work is actually completed online. Yeah, look, that, and that's... That's a great question. It really comes down to the benefits of sourcing online. You know, what are they? Um, and we've seen the propensity to, to source renovation products uh, really escalate during COVID. But if I think the smart renovator these days knows that the range online is, is far greater than what they're going to see driving around showrooms for the weekend. Uh, I was in a showroom last weekend and they even encouraged me to uh, go to the website because there's far more products <laughs> they can offer on the website than uh, what they can show on the, the showroom floor. But the other, the other big advantage is price. Uh, I think everyone understands these days if you're shopping from a retail bricks and mortar space, essentially you're paying for the, for the rent, the salesperson, the staff, uh, all those costs that uh, an online store doesn't have to pass on in the product price. So a good online store has has a small team, a great website, and basically a warehouse. So the cost of doing business is much lower. And if they're fair to their, their customers, that means lower prices. And that means you can push your budget a lot further or get the luxury items that you want. 
No, you're 100% right. Cutting down that overhead is such a huge differentiator between that inline, uh, sorry, the online store and the in-store physical presence. Now, we were touching on this a little bit in terms of what you can do to sort of spruce up the property that you have, maybe fit a bit more in. You were talking about offices being created, for example, um, wonderful things being done with garages and sheds. Obviously, at the moment, we're facing arguably our worst ever housing crisis in the country. A lot of people are feeling priced out of the market. Do you think there is a practical solution and is there a way that Renovator Store can help in that regard? Well, yeah, I think there's two things that, that Australia is a little behind in and, and one of them is building methods. Um, there are a lot of building methods in Europe that we yet to see here, we yet to be taken up uh, as mainstream. And a lot of those really speed up the building process, uh, cut the cost of, of the the total build and, and you end up with a more durable home. Um, space utilisation was, was another trend that I saw, but, uh, you know, Renovator still tries to keep ahead of the curve in, in the latest products. And, and one of our biggest trends is, is smart storage hardware. You know, the corner cabinet in your kitchen that's got pots and pans at the back that you never use uh, can now be pulled out uh, for easy access. You've got pull out pantries that give you full access to the the vertical space in, in, your, ca in your cabinets, um, pull out bins that are hidden away but um, you know maximise the waste space that you can put in, in your kitchen cupboard. All these small products that uh, contribute to a much more versatile and functional house. It's interesting you mentioned that because another big trend that's emerged in the past few years is the young nomad who get those buses or the vans and they sort of kit them out with all sorts of uh, sinks and beds and stuff. Do you have quite a few people like that coming towards you uh, looking for that kind of product so that they can create their own little mobile home? We, we certainly do uh, service the mobile home market and we've got uh, a lot of, again, innovative storage that, that, that helps in that space and, and small sinks that are still at the luxury end but can go into a mobile home. We're not in the space for fold out beds or anything, but that, that is a big trend at the moment where you have a multi purpose space where um, you know it can be converted to a bedroom with a press of a button and everything folds away and hides away from the living area. That means you can have one room for two purposes. So those are trends that you're going to see more and more of as space becomes more expensive. Now, Scott, it does look like it's very busy back there. You've got your workers going hard at it behind you in the background. Uh, we are approaching Christmas. We know that's a very busy time. Have you seen a bit of an upswing in terms of uh, a bunch of families looking to develop and renovate their properties to make sure it's ready to have the family around, the extended family for Christmas? Yeah, it's a good question. This year is a bit different. Uh, typically, Christmas, it does, it does actually quieten down for us because, as you know, a lot of trade goes on holiday at Christmas, a lot of building sites shut down. So building activity overall typically quietens down over Christmas and, and renovation products are not typically a gift product. However, this year, I think because there's been a lot of projects on ice during the year, we, we're seeing a big pent up demand for um, projects to, to speed up. Um, mm. A lot of the market is suffering from lack of availability. Products are taking longer to come from overseas or get manufactured. So we're actually seeing a heightened activity at the moment. and We're, we're sending products all over Australia and New Zealand to, to meet that demand. Uh, so it does look like there's a rush coming up to the Christmas period to get things done, you know, so they can enjoy the new house or the new renovation for summer. Now, Scott, what do you think the future of building and renovation has in store for you? Um, there's definitely going to be more, more of a move to online sourcing. It, it really is the way to um, get your products quickly, get fair pricing. Uh, the architectural space is, is dramatic, very, very quickly moving online. And that's, that's an industry that typically had their favoured suppliers in the, the bricks and mortar space. I think that, that's quickly moving to, to online sourcing, both in B2B and B2C areas. Um, other future renovation trends, as I mentioned, that you know, the new building methods and space utilisation. I think overall, the, the homeowner is now taking charge of their renovation. They've got more information at their fingertips. They're a lot more savvy with a lot of the renovation shows and picking the design and function they want from all the fixtures and fittings in their home. Um, 
So I think people are more decisive and uh, know exactly what they want and, and they're just hiring the builder to execute. I think you're right, Scott. Every time I watch Grand Designs, there's two things I think, wow, I wish I could do that. And also, wow, I want to stay the hell away from it because I know I would butcher it if I tried myself. Uh, is, is there anywhere we can find you? Do we have uh, social media, websites? Obviously, there's the sign in the background there. Well, renovatorstore.com.au is our main website. Uh, we, we're on Instagram as Renovator Store and Facebook as Renovator Store and, and Pinterest as Renovator Store. They're all great resources to find new ideas and communicate with our service team. Wonderful. Well, Scott, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Well, that's Scott Pendlebury, the founding director of Online Building Supplies Marketplace Renovator Store. And if you missed any part of that interview, you can catch the full chat shortly on our YouTube channel, Kaokai Media, so don't forget to subscribe. That's all for this Expert Talk. I'm James Preston reminding you to stay apprised and invest wise with Kaokai.